Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Carrie and today I'm doing my December wrap up. December was a busy month. In the last week of November I started my new job in Rochester, Minnesota. And so the first weekend of December, the first and second, I was in between Grand Forks and Rochester moving all of my furniture in because my parents flew up from Colorado to help me. And then I had a full week of work and then I had a weekend in my apartment, which is when all of my books got put up. And then I had three and a half days before I took vacation already and flew down to Arizona for my sister's graduation. She graduated from GCU magna cum laude and I'm definitely a proud sister. And then I had a full week and then Saturday morning I flew back to Colorado for Christmas. And I flew back to Rochester that Wednesday the 26th and then had two days of work and then it was this last weekend and now it's New Year's and it's just it's been a month so I didn't get very much reading done at all I read three books one of which was an audiobook and that was The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien The Hobbit if you don't know what it's about is about a little hobbit who is half the size of a human an adult human and he gets wrapped up in this adventure with dwarves and a wizard and dragons and elves. It's hilarious, beautifully written, and fantastic. I loved reading it via audiobook or listening to it because the voices were incredible. I also didn't remember what the book itself said that was different from the movie. And so it was really good for me to go back and listen to the book and remember the original plot that they stretched out and expanded in so many ways that did not make any sense into three different movies. I gave The Hobbit a 5 out of 5 stars because I love it. The next book I read was The Silk Roads by Peter Frankopin. This I've talked about in my best books of 2018 and it is a non-fiction about the Middle East and sort of the Near East and how the trade and the power and the influences that came through there changed the world and that region itself as well. First of all, I have to say I love this cover because it's just elegant and eye-catching. Second of all, this book is written stunningly. It's a non-fiction so it can be a bit dense to put all of that information into uh, under 600 pages. However, I think Peter Frank did a fantastic job at deciding how to organize it and what to include. He mentions people in a sort of nonchalant way. There's a couple of really famous mentions in here that are just sort of a throwaway sentence almost. And I thought that was a really fun way of introducing them into a world that we know them quite well in, but at the time they were nobodies. It also does include pictures in not the middle, but uh, it does include pictures of the region, which I think is great because I always love pictures in a nonfiction book. I, like I said, I liked the way it was organized, I liked the way it was written, and I learned so much. If you liked world history at any time in your life, this is a fantastic overview with some really in-depth spikes in it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Then the last book I read in December, which was also the last book I read in 2018, is The Conquest of Lady Cassandra by Madeline Hunter. I don't read a lot of romance books. I used to read a fair number of them when I was in high school. And I got this one I think about a year ago just because, I don't know, I was feeling it. I read this New Year's Eve. I started it at 9 and ended it 20 minutes before midnight because I wanted to get another book in in December and it was just fun. This was everything I wanted in a romance book. I gave it five stars because it is cheesy and corny and the guy is respectful and there's secrets and a massive plot twist that is very heterosexual and I had the wrong spouse. Whoops. And it has all the smut you could want and it's got some great one-liners in here that I just loved. One of my favorites was one of the main characters talking to his friend and he says, you have to come with me, I need you to keep me from killing a guy. 
which I just thought was hilarious. So definitely a romance, there's no way you can get around that. That is the absolute center of this book, but it's about 300 pages and it was a perfect end to 2018. That was my short, succinct December wrap-up because I read all of three books. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!